This episode is brought to you by Leo Bato and Associates, ang realtor na pato. The journey. The journey had a lot of trials, um, losing a loved one technically, betrayal, all that stuff. Was it worth it? No. The only thing, the only thing that was worth it is I met my wife as a consequence, my five kids, but no. Damn. You met Margaret here. Yeah, that's the only reason. Why'd you move to the States? Because of him, which is the irony. If we hadn't started, I've never met her. I wouldn't have my children. So, but if I could do it all again, I wouldn't do it with him. So. Wait, wait, wait. So Jay, for no, convinced they you. pushed us, pushed me out. So uh-huh. I moved to L.A. I had a record deal with Virgin. Had new management, same management actually. <clears throat> it was essentially on my own, and I met my wife. That was the only good that came of it. So. How'd you meet Margaret? Uh, she was. Uh, w- she was working at a restaurant. She was. Were you married? Eighteen at the time? years. Eighteen years of age. I was thirty-three. Fifteen years oh, old. Oh, you cradle snatcher. No, listen, listen. Yeah. No, grave robber. <laughs> oh, grave robber. <laughs> so, I met her and uh, I took her for coffee and. Wait, took, wait. Sh- let's let's sh- okay, fine, shut fine, the fine. fuck okay. up, motherfucker. <laughs> God. Let me ask you about your fucking story. No, 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 Shut no, no, no. Okay, I just I'm wanted... telling you what happened. Okay. okay. So I meet her. Uh, <laughs> I give her my number. She calls me. I call her back. I ask her, she go, would she like to go for a coffee or something? She didn't know if she was washing her hair. This is a true story. So eventually we hook up and I, we take her for a coffee. We sit down. I find out how old, how old she is. 18. 18, and I'm th- 33. No um, shame. No, sh- no, and I said, no, no, this is not going to fucking work. Plus, I was a Leo. She was a Taurus. Ooh. So, plus, I told her the day I met her, because I already had a son when I was 18, which is the same age as she was. I said, I'm not going to have any fucking children. So I You ate she, your words. I think she burst into tears, but we've been together ever since, which is 30-something years. I don't know. So... So some good came of it, you know, some great good. You know. So my question was, where, where did you meet? Where did we meet in Los where? Angeles? Yeah, we, I, yeah, tell me how big Los Angeles is like. Okay, it's a restaurant in Los, Los Angeles. Okay, so a restaurant, you just walked okay, in. Okay, it's an Asian she's restaurant. She's there. There you go, yeah. See? It's a place I, It's a place on Sunset Boulevard. It's a Chinese restaurant with a California uh, tinge to it. <laughs> and she... She worked there and she was going to school and uh, I would see her because I had that often because I had, I had plenty of money, plenty of time and I'd wake up about two or three in the afternoon and go for breakfast about four or five. Look at you! <laughs> so, and, we st- <laughs> and we started and, be, and I started ch- and we would ch- chat, you know, and I was very attracted to her. But uh, despite everything, I was quite a shy guy. I'm not the kind of guy who could just walk up to a woman and say, will I go out? Eventually, I gave her my number because I thought that was a, the correct thing to do, you know, the right thing to do. So I didn't want to come across some creep. So eventually, she calls me. So I did. I think I followed the protocols, but I do know it will. No matter what I say, it will never look good. But so, but uh, every man I've ever told the story to has gone, "Whoa, yeah, you lucky bastard!" You lucky, you lucky bastard. <laughs> Shout out, Margaret. <laughs> now. <clears throat> Five kids. How old's your youngest? He's eleven. Yeah. What do they know about dad? He's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they're laughing. I don't agree, but I don't know why they're laughing. <laughs> well, all, when you, your, your children adore, I adored my father. I don't know how you were with your father, but most children adore their father. So. No, but I, I, I mean, a, the ba- I, have, I have a great relationship with my right. children. Uh, they know I have family from in Wales, and they have some idea of the incidents that's gone on, and they must never speak to my brother. And if they see him, you know, just to 
bury him somewhere in the desert, basically. Now, they don't know all that, but they know it would hurt me very deeply. So If they did. If they did, yeah. Mm. So, um, But they're all fine. I have a great relationship with all my children, you know. Uh, I've got a daughter who was the hardest to work with because I'm not used to working with. I only had one sister. But, 